Okay, so we're continuing with our life project. We're going to be dealing with car payments and meal planning. Okay, here we go. So a car payment, you're going to calculate that monthly cost to own a new car. This cost will include the monthly car payment, insurance, and gas. Say hi to Sadie. Remember, you only get 15% of your budget to spend on a car. Okay, um, so shop wisely. It is okay for this for this assignment if you don't um, fall in your budget. Okay, this will just mean you can't afford this car at this time, but you will save up for it and purchase at a later date. Okay, um, but don't go too far off your budget. So the budget of the car should be 15%. Okay, so if I'm looking at this right now, Jeez. Silly child. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, my car is 15%. So that means $2,840.50. Okay, awesome. So let's look at this. It, I decided, because remember, I have six kids, I'm going to buy a Telluride. So I'm going to buy a Telluride. This is my Telluride. So 36,190. Now, by the time that we start doing this, that price may change. But when I started the project, that's what it was at. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put in the price of my car, $36,190. Okay, I need seven, we need sales tax. Cause remember everything has sales tax on it. So, 7.5% 7 sales tax. So we're going to take number one, the 36,190. We're going to multiply that by 0 0.075 and get $2,714.25. That is just the sales tax. Okay, so we have to add those two together. So my car is now $38,904.25. Now, you got to get a loan because I don't have $40,000 just to hand out. And so I need a loan. And so my interest rate on that loan is going to be 6.2%. Now, you, again, remember when we were doing our, uh, it wasn't budget basics. It was the other one. Oh, our FICO. And I had a different amount. Okay, so normally you could use that amount, but just for this assignment, again, I'm going to use the 6.2%. So I'm going to take the 38,000 and multiply it by 0 0.62, 0 0.062. I'm going to get $2,412.06. So now I need this to be over four years. Right now, $2,412.06 is only one year. Okay, I need it for five years. So we're going to multiply that by five. So that's another $12,060.32. And now I need to add that to line three, which is the amount of the car with tax. That will get me $50,964.57. Okay, so that's how much... <clears throat> I need for my loan to buy this car. So my monthly payments, now there are 60 um, in five years, sorry, there are 60 months. So we're gonna divide that by 60. So my car payment is gonna be $849.41 just for a car payment, okay? It's a little expensive guys, just a tad. So then, uh, then I'm going to look at this, find your monthly gas, gas costs. So we're going to assume that we're driving about 400 miles a month. That's not very much guys. And the going rate of gas is $5 per gallon. If one gallon of gas allows you to drive 25 miles, what's your gas cost? So for one gallon of gas, it's 25 miles. So I'm going to take the 400 and I'm going to divide that by 25. So my car 
will need 16 gallons of gas in the month. Now I need to get how much that 16 gallons is going to cost. So it's $5 for each gallon. So I take 16 gallons and I multiply it by five and I get that I'm going to pay $80 a month for gas. By the way, it would be probably four times that amount. Then you also have to have insurance. So we're going to go with $85 a month. That's like a huge deal. Okay. So now we're going to take how much it's going to cost per month for my car to pay for the, the loan, my monthly gas and the insurance. So we're going to add those together and I'm going to get $1,014.41. Okay. It's actually really cheap. Okay, my budget is $2,840.50. I am below my budget for my car. I did pretty good on that one. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to find a car and do this exact same thing. I'm going to give you probably 15 minutes. Why don't we go with 15 minutes to find a car and do this worksheet on your sheet of paper. Okay. Once you are finished with that 15 minutes, then what I want you to do is I want you to answer these questions. Was your car budget according to the budget basics worksheet? Did you fall within your budget? Will you be purchasing this car? What other expenses might you expect when you own a car? If you can't afford a card, what are your options? So 15 minutes, I want you to go ahead and do all this. And if you need a little bit more time, we'll work that out. The next thing we're going to be doing is meal planning. Okay. So there are some things that you need to know. First of all, you need to know how many people are in your family. So if I have six children and I'm married to my husband, so there's two adults and six children. So there's eight of us, total of eight of us. Now we need to remember what our net monthly income is. So my net monthly income is $18,936.67. And then since we're dealing with groceries, I need to know how much of that can be spent on groceries. So that's $1,893.67. Okay. Now let's read what this says. You must include some protein and a fruit or vegetable for my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also, you can only go out to eat one time in the week. Okay. So I'll make it, I'll make a little menu for my family. So I'm going to say omelets with veggies for breakfast. My lunch is going to be a ham sandwich and an apple dinner. I'm going to have stuffed peppers. And my snack is going to be an apple with peanut butter. Guess my family likes apples. Okay. So you're going to come up with some kind of menu, family planning for the whole week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and a snack. Then what you're going to come over and do is you're going to fill out your groceries. Okay. Now, I wanted omelets with veggies for that breakfast. So I'm going to get eggs and because I have a huge family, I'm going to get the 60 count of eggs. Probably need some milk to go into those eggs and probably to drink also. Then onions, one bag of onions, and then some mushrooms, one container and six bucks. I know that from Vons. Now, I didn't read the part that says up above, go to the grocery store or use sales ads. Guys, just they, all of the 
grocery stores other than like Trader Joe's, <clears throat> they have how much things are going to cost online. You just have to go into walmart.com, Albertsons, Vons, Ralph's.com. You just go on to those and you can find the groceries. You don't have to go to a sales ad. You don't have to go to the actual store. Okay. Um, okay. Then include the prices for each pro Don't forget to add in cleaning supplies and personal items like toothpaste and detergent. Okay. So like my family would be going through toothpaste awfully fast. Okay. Um, detergent, definitely washing clothes is going to cost money. So anyway, I made up a total amount for my family for one week. So $342.84 for one week of groceries. It's going to cost more than that, but I just went with that. Now, because it's only one week, we're going to multiply it by four. So that would get me $1,371.36. Now, normally you have sales tax to consider, but in the state of California, food items are not taxed. Non-food items are like, so the toothpaste and the detergent and things like that. Those are not, those are taxed. But for this assignment, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to go with no taxed items here. Okay. So what should you complete today? Budget for the car, car payment information, meal planning, and grocery shopping. So right now what you're going to do is you're going to finish up these items and this is what is due today for you.